Greetings, dear parents and guardians. I am Ma'am Shirley Ordonez, the school principal of the primary department. I'm happy and excited to welcome each one of you to the BMI family. Uh, the school is now in its eighth year in operation, catering pre-kindergarten to grade 7. Uh, the school started its operation June in 2013 and the reason of its successful growth is because of your positive responses uh, to the school promotion, trust in the leadership of the school officials, and the capability of teachers to teach, love, and care for our children and the non-teaching personnel for their continued support to the accomplishment of the school's vision and mission. This school year is quite different as significant positive changes will be taking place and some of these will be expatiated by the school staff during the parents' orientation. This parent orientation is to ensure that all parents and guardians are informed about the educational setup in this coronavirus pandemic and the new normal situation parents and learners have to embrace. Moreover, through this orientation, the parents are expected to realize their role as active agents in the teaching learning process considering that learning will take place in your homes. During this parent orientation, each of the coordinators and other staff were given the task to discuss on important topics. Mom Shirley will be discussing on the school vision, mission, school emblem, school brand name, organizational flowchart, and the Koan scholarship. Mom Nancy, will expound more on the guidelines for parents in supporting their children during online learning. Teacher Cheryl will talk on the guidelines for the pre-kinder, kinder, and grade 1 synchronous learning. Mom Josie will be talking on the Mandarin classes. Our subject coordinators, Teacher Perley and Rene, will talk on the guidelines for the grades 2 to 7 online class which includes the modules, video teaching, Zoom class, and the availability of materials at home. Mom Jam, our co and accounting staff, and Mom Zenny, our school cashier, will talk more on the school fees. Registrar Kim will be discussing on the school enrollment and students' record. School nurses Jem and Jenny will expound on the online consultation and implementation of infection control policies. The school calendar 2020-2021 and the grading sheet grading system will be posted in the school's Facebook this coming October. Without vision, the school will not thrive. The vision and mission statement is the expression of the school's identity, purpose, and means of action. Seven years ago, the school started with 12 kindergartens coming from different ethnic origins. Each year, BMI students' population increases. For the school year 2019-2020, we have the first batch of graduates at the elementary level. We were also given the government permit to operate grade 7 this school year 2020-2021. BMI seek to serve learners of different ethnic origins and culture. Our school strives to be a culturally diverse community of learners parents and staff dedicated to creating a friendly environment. Within such an environment, the K-12 learners will be empowered and inspired to reach their full potential. Every institution has their own emblem. 
the logo or emblem of BMI signifies the characteristics of the school represented by the following symbols. The torch represents the light that illumines the minds of the learners and the passing of culture and civilization. The book signifies the bright future of the learners who are formed with knowledge, attitude, and skills learned and acquired in different subject areas. We can see the different colors of hands surrounding the torch. These represent the learners coming from different ethnic origin and culture who shall learn, work, and play in the spirit of unity, cooperation, respect, compassion, and selflessness. The encompassing green color of the verdant mountains implies that all technological school programs and the projects shall conserve, protect, rehabilitate, and promote a clean and healthy learning environment. No one is great at everything, but everyone should be known for something. BMI will be known as the home of happy and better learners. We can read this in the BMI brochures, flyers, newsletter, and tarpaulins. We know that every parent would like to enroll their kids in safety environment where they learn, play, and enjoy. The BMI administration and teaching staff is working hard on this. BMI has the best amenities and facilities for kids' learning. The school amenities are the wide function hall where we conduct school programs and conferences, the dining hall for kids to enjoy their meals, the covered court for the MAPI classes, and the play area inside the building for the little ones to play. Each classroom is installed with CCTV cameras for the safety of both teacher and learner. The building has 48 CCTV cameras, keeping the campus under surveillance. The stairs are extended with fiberglass balustrades for everybody's safety. The school has full-time security personnel assigned in both entrance and exit doors. We have a well-equipped infirmary and two full-time nurses to monitor on the learners and BMI employees health and safety. Most of the classrooms have comfort rooms plus additional comfort rooms at the corridors. The learners are happy of having teachers who cares for them, teachers who prepares the lessons, the videos, and other learning materials for the betterment of teaching and learning. Not only are the learners happy, but they are also getting better in the academics and total well-being. Proof of their improvement is their confidence in joining competitions in the school, district level, division level, and all the way to regional and national levels. In preparation for the online classes, the additional improvement of BMI this school year is the construction of two audio-visual rooms, additional computers and headsets for all teachers for the video teaching and Zoom class. Now parents, we come to the organizational flowchart. Looking at it will help you have a clear picture of the flow of authority and communication from the top to bottom. This also will help you understand how the school arranged the resources of time, space, and personnel for maximum impact on students' learning. The school's organizational flowchart addresses those issues that affect the school as a whole, such as personal functions, schedules, enrollment, location of staff in different rooms, and also the preparation of school programs. To further understand the school organizational flowchart, the grade level coordinators are the head of the grade level team and is responsible for the implementation, supervision, and evaluation of the school programs, projects, and activities of the grade levels under their care. Subject coordinators are under the grade level coordinators. They are responsible in editing the syllabus, the weekly modules, and video preparations of assigned teachers under them.
The online video monitoring team are in charge of monitoring the teaching video and the time is scheduled of Zoom classes. The BMI working team comprises of 24 teachers teaching pre-kindergarten to grade 7, 4 subject coordinators and 3 grade level coordinators. The non-teaching staff is the school nurse, the registrar, and the school cashier. Okay now parents, let's come to the Kowan Scholarship. All Filipino learners enrolled at BMI are considered as scholars under the Kowan Educational Foundation as each is a recipient of the school fee subsidy. However, this scholarship covers one year and has to be renewed by the parent in every academic year. The application will be evaluated by the scholarship committee and results will be posted on the school's bulletin board. Here are the guidelines for the approval of a scholarship. Number one, academics. The GPA should be above 80%, no failing grade during the fourth quarter in any of the subjects. Number two, attendance. During the online class, the completed weekly output of the learner serves as the learner's attendance. Number three, behavior. The learner has to abide with the school policies guidelines such as the on-time submission of the learners activities and projects parents on the other hand are expected to support the vision and mission of the school number four the learners must not have an outstanding financial obligation with the school learners who are top one in their grade level are given free tuition fee for one school year and the succeeding years if they maintain being the top one in their respective grade level.